gives you advice, yeah, on how to live your life, how to live your life. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel. I'm Cammy, and today's video is going to be me talking about this month's ovulation testing and just kind of going over a couple of things with you guys. I also asked on my Instagram if you guys had any questions about TTC or anything like that to ask me questions and I think I got a few so I will also go over those but I just... This is probably going to be the last month of me showing you guys, I think I said that last month, but this is going to be for sure the last month of me showing you guys my ovulation testing just because it gets kind of repetitive and unless something like major happens, um, like super weird or something with the testing, then this will probably be the last month of me showing it. But I just wanted to kind of do this video to help other moms, or not moms, but help other people who are TTC like understand the process and stuff like that because when I first started, you guys know that first month that I posted the ovulation testing, I was very confused about the whole thing um, and I just want to help other people going through the same things that I'm going through like understand stuff about it. So ooh, my cat is... Okay, so the first thing I'm just going to go ahead and say for anyone who's new is the test that I do use is the Easy at Home. And I got these off of Amazon and I will of course list them down below for you guys. This particular kit comes with both ovulation testing and some pregnancy testing. It's 40 ovulation tests and 10 pregnancy tests, but they do have just an ovulation kit which I use for the first, ooh, excuse me, the first month of trying. Well, the second month of trying that I actually did ovulation testing for. Um, at this time, I just got this kit because I just wanted some stick pregnancy tests as well. But I will leave that down below for anyone who's curious. There is a lot of brands out there. I mean, you can try them all if you want to, but these work perfectly fine for me. So they're what I'm recommending. I mean, they're the only ones I've used besides the like um, Dollar Tree one. But those, you, it's one for a dollar and it just these are just better, you know? Um, so I think the first thing I will do is just go over the questions that you guys had. I know I screenshotted them. Okay, so the first question I got was, do you already have names in mind? If yes, could you do a name video? And no, we don't have names in mind. We don't know how long this process is gonna take in general. Um, and for our son, for coming up for the name Parker, it took a while anyway, so we just, we don't really have any names going forward yet and then what app do you use this is another thing that I was hoping somebody would ask I use the app Premom, which I have an iPhone but I'm pretty sure it's available on anything but basically it's just called Premom, and this is what the app looks like right now Try to put some screenshots right here just because I don't have to hold my camera up because the light right there kind of makes it a little wicky, wicky, wishy-washy, I don't even know. Um, but I like this app. I have I started with, I can't remember, I've had a couple different ones and they just weren't working for me and I'm using this app specifically because it goes along with the easy at home ovulation test, like it's their brand of app. So that's why I'm using it and I, I really like it and I know a couple other like TTC people that I've watched on YouTube have uh, used it as well so that's originally when I got it and then I was like oh hey these go along with my test so that's perfect. But basically it's got different things that you can do in the app like you can um, log if you had intercourse or not so like when we baby danced on the days that I was ovulating I logged that it has a little heart that you can log again I'll just put it take a screenshot right now and then you can log your period it gives you of course what your estimated period would be like any other like tracking app um, but you can obviously change it if it's not the correct date then the thing I like um, is because since I am taking the ovula ovulation tests you just have to go to the camera little button and you can do that and then it has the option to do the easy at home ovulation test, pre-mom, others, like any other brands you would just like to log on into your phone to have like for records. They have HCG ones and PDG as well in the little thing. I'll take a screenshot again. 
Um, so every time I take an ovulation test, I don't just put it in my little notepad. I also log it in on my phone just to, for a record and it just, it's nice to have. Um, because these, these you take immediately, like after you're done doing the ovulation test and spend the three minutes are up, you take the picture. Jesus. Okay. So you take the picture then after the three minutes are up. So you have what it looks like originally, like right off the back, because when you have the books and everything, they dry and it's not as like the lines aren't as defined at that point when you go back and look on them later. But with this, you can see like immediately what the pictures were like. So I really like that. And then, of course, it has like regular calendars, which you can see. I'll just, I'll screenshot again so you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, I really like it so far. It's been pretty, I mean, it's, and then you also get charts. Again, I'll screenshot. Um, it just has a lot of cool features that I really enjoy in this app. There's many different apps available. So if you're trying to conceive, just find one that works for you or find one that, I mean, there's some two other things, I'm sure. But this one works for me and I like it, so I'm recommending it to you guys if you're trying. Um, another question was, since when are you trying for a baby? This is our fifth month trying. So, I mean, we've, we wanted to try, we knew we wanted to try for a lot longer, but I wanted to wait until like the beginning of the year to start trying and then, yeah. So, somebody said hi, so hi. How do you manage yourself so well after having a baby? I love you so much. Um, that's not really about this, but I don't know. I mean, I'm a mommy. Mommies do it. Um, MTTC with baby number four. Any tips? The first three weren't planned. I really don't have any tips because Parker wasn't planned. Um, he's the great, greatest blessing in our life, but he wasn't planned. So this time going around and having a planned pregnancy is a lot harder than I thought it would be. So I don't have any tips. Sorry. Um, are you trying to conceive? Yes, that's what TTC stands for, trying to conceive. How long should I wait before testing? I don't know if you mean ovulation testing or pregnancy testing, but if it's ovulation testing, you can get an app and it'll help you know about when your fertile window is and then you can start testing whenever that starts or a few days beforehand. I always test a few days before. My app tells me that it's my fertile window just like to see the line progress or just you know because sometimes the app is wrong because it's just an app it's not your actual body telling you what's happening so I mean get an app that's what I recommend the most because it, it definitely helps um it's not 100% because you still have to do all this other stuff to know exactly but it does help and then for pregnancy testing I start testing usually around like eight or nine dpo um sometimes I might test earlier but it's usually you can never get a positive like before I mean rare cases people get it at 7 DPO but like for pregnancy testing you just kind of gotta either wait till you miss your period or you can test a few days before that or whatever um what does ovulating mean it just I don't really know it's just like your fertile time like when you're able to make a baby um yeah, <laughs> I'll put like the definition or something right here. Um, do you like coffee or tea? Again, not with this, but I like coffee. <laughs> um, this is a good one. What does your hubby think? Uh, you're not getting pregnant right away. Praying for you guys. Thank you so much. Um, he really doesn't mind. Like he, I mean, he's not the one going through all this. So it's a lot harder on me than it is for him because I'm the one testing and I'm the one you know, paying attention to when I'm ovulating and I'm like, hey, like I'm ovulating, let's baby dance. Um, he's just down for it, <laughs> but it's a lot harder on me than it is for him. Usually I just send him a picture of, because he'll be at work and I'll send him a picture of the negative test and say, hey, we're not pregnant um, this month. So he, that's, that's all of it he really gets. And he's just like, it's gonna happen when it happens. And I'm the one like crying because I'm seeing the negative and it's a lot for me. So yeah. <laughs> And I think that was all of the questions that I got. I think somebody asked what did TT stand for, but I didn't screenshot it. But um, it just stands for trying to conceive. So, yeah. So now I'm just going to go over my ovulation test for this month. Okay. 
So as this month, I started on cycle day 11. I'll show you guys this after I talk about it really quick. And then I went through cycle day. I did 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Um, and I got my positive, it looks like on day 15. And it was still slightly positive, not really positive, positive, but there's still dark line on 16 and then 17 and 18, the line got lighter. Um, but I test in the morning. I know a lot of people say to test in the afternoon, but it just works better for me in the morning. Um, I still get a positive. Sure, if I tested later, I might get like an even darker line. But with this, I can still see that I'm getting a positive. Um, when I first started, you guys know that I tested at like the morning and then at night. And that just was a lot of testing for me. And having a two-year-old, it's just kind of... I know in the morning that I need to pee, and so that's just when it happens. Um, you can test in the afternoon, like a lot of a lot of people do. It's just how it works for me. Everybody's different, um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys my tests really quick. So these were my tests for cycle five. As you see, right there was when I got my positive, and then this I tested in the afternoon. So. So that's when I got my my um, positive, so we baby danced then. I didn't continue testing because the line was obviously going to get lighter and lighter. Okay, so now that you guys have seen my ovulation testing for this month, I think that's probably going to be it for today's video. And yeah, fingers crossed that we got a sicky baby for this month, but we're, we will see in a few days. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, just that you, or you don't follow me on Instagram and didn't get the opportunity to ask me any questions, please leave them down below and I will do my best to try to answer them. So I hope you guys have a really good day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!